All right, next up, we've got Purdue, Minnesota in the Big Ten. Uh, Minnesota up to 10.5 point home favorites here uh, in this game, 53 the total. Aiden O'Connell did not play last week. He was going to be a game-time decision against Florida Atlantic. Ended up not playing for the uh, Boilermakers last week uh, in that game. And um, look, I think the uh, backup quarterback did a decent job, a solid job. But you could tell there was a drop-off. You know, you could tell there was a drop off. Now they escaped with the win. Defense made some stops late against Nicosi Perry and the uh, Florida Atlantic offense, but definitely a drop off to Austin Burton. I don't want to say he played poorly. 21 of 29, 106, but the, the passing game was a little bit more limited. And Jeff Brom was, you know, being a little bit more cautious with his play calling, I believe, with Austin Burton. So again, the, we're going to have to wait and see if Aiden O'Connell's ready to come back here. Uh, for this game. He was a game time decision. He's got the rib injury. You know, that's painful. It, it's the kind of injury that probably uh, shouldn't have led to Justin Herbert playing yesterday, but that's another story. Uh, but yeah, the rib injury, you know, he played through it. Most of the Syracuse game He's uh, uh, Jeff Brom saying it could be next week. It could be a couple of weeks from now when we see Aiden O'Connell back. So keep your eye on that. I think the betting market's kind of moving on Minnesota, maybe assuming he may not play this week. We'll see. And look, this Minnesota team continues to play good football. And, you know, we said going into the Minnesota Michigan State game, they had played nobody yet. They finally played, well, even though they've struggled, Michigan State's a step up from anyone they played before. And it was dominant, 34 to 7. You know, 4 0 straight up, 4 0 against the spread this year for Minnesota under PJ Fleck. Tanner Morgan looks good. It's great to see Mo Ibrahim back. Uh, it's not an easy team to bet against right now, but they are laying double digits. And it's not like Purdue's chopped liver. The one concern, though, is Purdue is given up 137, uh, or is given up, actually, they're only given up 115 rushing yards per game. The run defense hasn't been that bad uh, for Purdue this year, and that's the strength of that Minnesota offense. Kind of lean under uh, in this game, actually. 53 and a half the total. Uh, I could actually see it being a little bit lower scoring because Purdue, the run defense, like I said, is not that bad. So maybe that can minimize Minnesota's offensive potency in this game. And certainly you've got to question what Purdue will do offensively if they miss O'Connell for a second straight game at quarterback. Uh, what do you think here, Connor, Purdue, Minnesota? Yeah, this is a wait and see. I think O'Connell misses another game, but, you know, we'll wait on it. Minnesota is very good. Their defense has been very good. But is this number too big? It seems like every year we go through this the last few years, when these teams get together, it is a tight game. You know, it comes down to the wire in this one. So maybe this is a little bit too much. I have been impressed with Minnesota's defense. It's played nobody, really. Then they play Michigan State. That's a good win. Now back here at home versus Purdue. Could they still move it against this really good defense? We'll see. I lean under as well a little bit, just because Minnesota's been so good defensively. You know, no one's able been able to throw the ball over them. So I look at the under here as well a little bit. Last year, I remember this game, 13-20. So... Yeah, lean under. Lean under uh, the total here. Yeah, under 20 to 13 Minnesota last year, uh, 34 31 Minnesota the year before 30. And so, again, you've that had that was that wild years. game, that pass yeah. interference game. Yeah, Remember? it was. Yeah. It's a good, good, great memory, C Mac. That's true. Uh, seven points or less uh, each of the last three years between these two teams. So, you know, that's what could make laying doubles a little tricky, even though Minnesota's look good so far.